So what, what the film is about, um, it tells the story of the young uh, Welsh journalist in 1933 who travels to Moscow, to Soviet Russia, um, trying to figure out what's going on politically and economically there. Um, he sneaks in, into Ukraine and discovers the big famine, the famine which was generated by Stalin, and which was the total secret. Not the journalist had the rights to speak about it. No one had to, the rights to speak about it. And Garrett Jones, it's the name of the, it's a real character, he decides that he will bring the truth to the world, that he will tell about it. Are you? Paul, uh, this is Gareth Jones in London. Uh, listen, I'm on my way to Moscow. Garrett, I've been trying to reach you. So we're coming here. Paul, I need your help again, this time arranging an interview with Stalin. Please tell me you know a way. Go to Walter Durante at the New York Times. He has influence. I'm persona non grata at the moment. Listen, I really need to talk to you. I found something big. You can break the story wide open. It's worse than we thought before. Paul? Paul? Adio. Uh, yeah, about it. The fiction, fictional film, um, opposite to documentary film, has some freedom in the in the storytelling and with the selection of facts and also with some uh, with some changing of facts or um, uh, making some kind of the um, more compact or more dramatic or more synthetic. Uh, a synthetic truth, and um, sometimes you have to eliminate some events, sometimes you embellish some events. That is the normal process, which I totally accept. Uh, and I think that what, what you have to try is to find the deeper truth of the, of the, of the, of these real events or real characters. Something which is not only on the surface in the, in the facts that it happened this way, but it could happen in another way. Uh, but which expresses the meaning or uh, core of, um, of that. When I'm showing the horror, like the famine uh, on Ukraine or Holocaust in my previous movies, I, I feel some kind of moral responsibility not to pass the border when it becomes the, the, the pornography of violence or pornography of, of um, 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 of, of, of the sufferance or something like that. That is the real moral dilemma to me, not slight change of uh, some factual, uh, factual events. It was a surprise to me when I analyzed the situation of the medias in, in 30s, because it has such visible similarities with, uh, with, our, um, with our world, especially in the countries where the society is very divided politically, like in United States right now, or in Poland, or mm, in Hungary, you know, in, in many countries where uh, the media is under the pressure from uh, two political sides, opposition and, uh, and the power mm, of an authoritarian power. Uh, so um, uh, what was then is um, multiplied now uh, by existence and um, activity of social ma medias and the internet altogether. And it's much more difficult even today to recognize what is, um, what is true and what is fake. And um, these fake facts are produced um, um, by people who are just playing with that, but mostly they are produced by some global or political or um, um, financial interests. And they can be very dangerous because it's, um, it means that the democracy is not working anymore. The democracy is not working without the free and objective media. And um, we have less and less of the media like that. And also the interest of the readers or viewers is not directed there. Um, it was interesting change during the uh, Trump, Donald Trump last elections, when it appeared that the people follow on, 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 uh, on social media, that they follow fake news with much bigger enthusiasm than the real information. Yeah, the world um, is changing, it changed. And the question is if it's for better or for, for worse. And I think that um, uh, you cannot um, give the 
one straight answer because on, on some domain it's for better, on some the dangers increased and, uh, and um, fears are very palpable. Uh, we feel that the people lost the, some kind of the confidence in the reality and in the politics and uh, and they, they, they lost the feeling that their future will be better than their parents. Uh, but um, on another hand, it's, um, it's less and less of poverty and um, if people are dying of hunger, it's mostly because of the politicians, it's mostly because of the wars which are generated by, you know, by, by the by the interest of, 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 of different um, countries like in Yemen, Yemen for example, and when um, unfortunately the situation is extremely tragic and dramatic and, uh, and war knows about it and does practically nothing. So it is better, but in the same time it's hopeless.